All right, welcome out everybody to our essential oil online spotlight class sharing thing um, oh, jasmine workshop oil. for jasmine oil. Jasmine is the essential oil that we're talking about, and I'd like to introduce Jade Baldwin. She's an oil herself, too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone. We're going to talk about jasmine, the very lovely um, jasmine oil. Uh, so on the screen, can you see that there? On the screen you can yep. see um, a little synopsis of what uh, jasmine can do. It's an aphrodisiac. Yes. Just want it's to point that out. Balancing. Um, it's great for reducing tension and stress, uh, wrinkled skin and fine lines. Uh, for dry, irritated skin, uh, childbirth and pregnancy, uplifting and energizing um, for ovulation and fertility for both men and women. And um, the emotion is the oil of sexual purity and balance. Okay, this is a very special oil. Um, and here's a, a quick video of um, jasmine um, and where it's sourced. Should we play it? Yeah, let's play it. Yeah? That looks, looks good. So it's like... Go for it. In three minutes. So for those people that are watching, this is just... We're going to talk during the whole video. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> just a picture of India. It's early picture in the morning. The, yeah, that's Jasmine right. Flower. A lot of people are listening, so we're going to explain to them the video. So Jasmine is just this little tiny white flower. It grows in... You know, we start expecting every day in the morning around six o'clock, and as it goes up to eleven thirty after lunch. Is Laura welcome, Laura? We're watching a jasmine video, yeah. so we're just showing all the people picking the flowers into baskets. This is bloom yesterday evening. This will bloom this evening. This will be tomorrow evening. This will be day after tomorrow. This will. Boom, next fourth day. This will boom fifth day. This is growing. So keep on growing. Like this. So showing um, the different buds and when they'll bloom. So these ladies, this they go wow, in the morning. Pick, they pick them all by hand, one at a time. One at a time. Fill up a whole basket. I wonder how many. How much that makes actually? Yeah, it's one of the least yielding oils. So it's very hard to come by. Yeah. Wow, it must have taken her a long time to get that basket. Yeah. So for me, I'm picking cover. Well, Eleanor, welcome, welcome. We're watching a, we're talking about jasmine tonight. Yeah. Family business for 50 years. years. We have to interpret for <laughs> If you're listening to this, you can get on Jade's website, jadebelt.com slash jasmine, and watch the same video. It actually takes quite a process, Jake was telling me, to get the jasmine oil out of there. It's amazing. amazing. Okay. That's it. So right. for the rest of our video, we're not going to have a lot of pretty music. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're on the call, if you have an experience with the jasmine oil, you can go ahead and, um, you know, just... Tell us uh, and we'll stop and hear your story because this is a very important oil um, for the healing aspect, uh, the physical, uh, emotional healing. Um, 
So jasmine is uh, very difficult to get in large quantities. So doTERRA couldn't sell it um, because they look for their CPTG grade. Um, and if they don't have it, they won't sell it, right? And so they do have a CPTG grade, but they couldn't sell it um, to everyone because they didn't have enough in quantity. So we used to have to earn it through our incentives. Um, so normally in the springtime, about April, uh, they offer a incentive for rose and um, jasmine. A five mil jasmine oil will cost about $300. Um, so it's very expensive. Um, but we It'll be interesting to see if they have those promotions. Instead. And a rose is about 500 So in the past, I've won those. And, um, you know, just because we enrolled so many people. Uh, but it's, it's very difficult for people to get their hands on one. And now you can buy it. Now you can buy it. And it's um, Jasmine Touch. So they've diluted this um, just perfectly so that uh, you get the, the benefits of it. Um, and it stays on your skin. Right, and it's it's not so you know heavily concentrated, which is good. I once dropped a jasmine oil, <laughs> and I thought ah, and it broke and shattered on our um, tiles. And then I looked at it, I'm like, oh no, Ben! And he's like, what's that? I said it's jasmine, and he's like, oh. And then he used this little pipe thing and tried to save it <laughs> because it's like, what? It's three hundred bucks. So, anyways. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and we made it and we diluted it and we kind of put it in little bottles. But it's great. It smells amazing. It makes you happy. Okay. Uh, it's found in a lot of our uh, skincare products. Um, it's in the Whisper Blend, which is the women's blend. And then it's also in the, um, the new doTERRA essential skincare range, the anti-aging moisturizer, the hydrating cream and then the Virage um, moisturizer. So those three lotions um, for your face, okay? There's so much research about um, the antioxidant abilities, the skin repairing abilities of Jasmine. Uh, so uh, that's why doTERRA put Jasmine in these products. So we are so blessed to have them. Now there's a research that I read and it uh, says that clove oil and jasmine absolute, we, you know, that's what the oils are, the oil is actually, we, it's an absolute, it's not necessarily a, an essential oil, um, has the highest antioxidant ability. And so different antioxidants do different things. And uh, jasmine's antioxidant in particular helps with protecting skin and tissues. Uh, so that's amazing. So it'll help with um, the sun damage, skin damage, and premature aging, and even discoloration. So if you've got pigmentations that you don't like, this is a wonderful preservative. So you can feel the, the texture of the jasmine petals. You know, that's, that's beautiful. So imagine your face feeling that soft and smooth. Okay, so that's jasmine for skin. So, you know, it does a lot of other things too, but this is like one of the main things that if you think jasmine, think of skin. Okay, so I mentioned that it's an absolute. So absolutes so are extracted in a complex manner that requires a chemical solvent, such as alcohols, um, to, to help it uh, get out. And then um, after it's removed during the final stage, uh, during the final stages, they remove the alcohol. And so you have that uh, the final product. And the absolutes are reported to have a more powerful aroma and potency than essential oils. So it's perfect that doTERRA diluted the jasmine anyways, because um, it's a very strong oil, okay? And generally, uh, the absolutes are thicker um, you know, in weight and um, just size than essential oils are. Okay, so some books say that this, uh, jasmine oils um, is, is known as the king of flowers or um, some books say it's the queen of the night. So whatever you want to choose, but it, it's uh, powerful. Like I said, with rose, that's great for skin and everything, um, you know, and jasmine's right up there with rose, um, amazing for skin. Uh, Queen of the Night, you know, it's aphrodisiac. It's a, an oil that helps you feel happiness and joy um, and pleasure. 
So that's amazing. Jasmine symbolizes hope, happiness, and love. Um, and uh, this, you know, you saw in the video that our jasmine comes from India um, and it's hand picked and it's very, very labor intensive. And it's very sought after in the um, aromatherapy industry and in the perfume industry. I mean, this is an expensive perfume to wear, but it's amazing and it's unnecessary, especially for people who've had uh, a lot of sexual trauma um, to, to heal. Okay, so um, you know, if you have friends and family that have gone through that, you know, they should wear it every day. They should wear it every day to be happy, to, to heal, right? If you own jasmine, it comes in this roller bottle here. Um, and if you want to mix it, it blends very well with bergamot, uh, capaiba, frankincense, geranium, helichrysum, lemongrass, melissa, rose, sandalwood, wild orange, roman chamomile, lavender, and lemon. So those are the oils that it blends well with. Okay. So anybody want to share any um, stories or experiences that they have with jasmine? We had a smell of jasmine. Anybody here tonight? Yeah? Is he nodding? Good. Okay. So go ahead and share um, when you're ready, if you feel inclined to, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, so for aphrodisiac and hormone balancing, uh, apply it to the back of your neck and the lower abdomen. Okay, um, and you can add it to your diffusers or your love potions. Okay, so that's uh, one way to, to use the uh, jasmine oil. Okay, use it as a perfume or combine it with your favorite oils. I have lots of friends that use it as a perfume and they'll make their own little combinations and they share it with me. So it's pretty, very clever, pretty nice. I did a bit of research um, and it's very powerful for childbirth. So if you can um, get a hold of Jasmine and use it for childbirth, it's amazing. It helps um, with uh, reducing the pain and the discomfort. Um, it has a bit of an analgesic effect. And uh, so you can rub it on your, your lower abs and um, on your back even, okay? And um, so it helps with the, the contractions, but it helps reduce the discomfort of that. Um, and then also continue using it after the birth to help with the placenta, okay? The expelling of the placenta so that uh, it's not as painful. I remember one, um, one experience, um, I think it was my sister, she, after she birthed, she sighed and she's like, oh, wow, I did it. And then a few minutes later, we, we tell her, hey, you're going to push again. She's like, what? And I said, there's still a placenta in there. She's like, oh, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's great to, to help alleviate um, a lot of discomforts. Okay, so if you can, you know, afford it, gift that to somebody that's pregnant, and that'd be great for them. Um, skin health, like I said earlier, and it's not just about beauty. I mean, a lot of us are vain and we love to keep our skin beautiful and that's great, uh, but there's uh, skin concerns too. So chap, dry, itchy um, skin. Um, if you have skin that has like uh, infections of some sort, you can use the jasmine oil on that. And especially because it's um, uh, diluted, it will stay on your skin longer. Uh, you can mix geranium with jasmine, okay, and just mix it up in your, the palms of your hands and you can mix the extra coconut oil in and then rub it on. Or you can even mix it instead of coconut oil, you can use that they a doTERRA hand and body lotion. That's a great way to um, dilute it and uh, keep it on your skin longer. And remember, if we have dry skin, you can drink more water and use more omega oils, okay? Uh, I had most of my life I had dry skin until I discovered that um, if I drank more water and use omega oils, um, you know, that skin problem goes away. But I remember we shop, every time we shop, we'd get this gallon size pump of lotion yeah, for the whole family. Yeah. yeah, so we haven't done that for years and years now since we started oils and understood about um, feeding ourselves. Okay, so guys, we don't have to have this dryness on our skin. 
Um, and when you have dryness, the other reason for that, sometimes it's hormonal imbalance. And guess what? Jasmine does it all. It helps with the hormonal balancing and it helps with the skin um, so moisturizing it too. So it's a great um, all in one there. Okay. Now, in our day and age, we have a lot of xenoestrogens, and that's like the toxic um, synthetic estrogen that we get uh, in our food, in the plastics, in um, the fertilizers, you know, and even in water. Uh, so what that does is it causes a lot of um, infertility, uh, endometriosis, um, man boobs, um, and all other problems. So we want to help people, you know, eliminate that um, and then balance their hormones. And it's kind of sad because we've got 20-year-olds, very young people that um, have infertility concerns. So now we have um, something to help the body. Um, so use the jasmine oil for uh, the sex organs and fertility. Okay, so for the male organs, um, you know, you can use the oils in your, uh, down in that area and, uh, you know, close to the prostate gland. Women can do the same thing too, uh, around the ovaries, and on your lower abs, and then on your reflex points. So that's in the, your ankles um, and, you know, your reflex points on your hands and stuff too. And it's very, very powerful. Um, I had one lady, she used just like Whisper and um, Clary's, Clary Calm, um, and she couldn't afford any more, but within a short time, she was able to fall pregnant um, when she had to go through about four rounds of um, IVF unsuccessfully. So that's just awesome. It's a lot of, uh, it gives people hope. So when I hear people have those stories, I'm thinking, ah, just try this, you know, it's a lot less expensive and, you know, it's so healthy for you. Alrighty, so that's uh, Jasmine for fertility and, um, you know, the health of your sex organs. Alrighty, like I said, it's very uh, high in antioxidants, so it's cleansing. All right, lots of oils help with your immunity, by the way, but I didn't mention it because, you know, it's, it's almost a given uh, that the oils are great um, at helping with, you know, the environmental threats. Um, but because it does that, it cleanses out you know, your fungus and other things too. It helps our body um, have more energy. So um, jasmine is a, a great oil for energy, so energizing. And here's a blend for you. It's two drops of jasmine, three drops of patchouli, two drops of ginger, two drops of clary sage, and three drops of helichrysum. Mix it all up with fractionated coconut oil um, and you know, apply it to the back of your neck and the bottom of your feet and on the sternum, okay, and you're just moving it up. Um, and then you can you know, go to bed and rest and, and then have it work for you to, um, to help and stuff out and move things along and then you be able to have more energy okay um, we have lots of friends that have um, overly diagnosed um, health problems and you know, what is it um, ovomyalgia and you know it basically they just need a cleanse um, and their body needs to just uh, um, be fed the cells need to be fed again Okay, and it's amazing some of the oils that, that my friends have used and that, that health problem, you know, because we took care of the symptoms, the, the name of the problem, I mean, the disease problem, it goes away. So there's hope there. Okay, so the other thing here we can do with jasmine is for coughs. Um, in my mind, it's um, very like lavender in this way. So mixing it with fractionated coconut oil, you can do two drops of jasmine or just roll it on you. Uh, three drops of myrrh, two drops of geranium and lemon oil. And then gently blend that in a separate container and then just rub it on your chest and up your sternum and up to the chin. And um, you can say, you know, this affirmation, like I know I am responsible um, to make me happy. I'm able to clearly express what I want and when I need it. Okay, so that helps because coughing is about 
not being able to speak um, clearly or say what you want to say. So that leads me on to the voice and throat. Um, everyone is different, so you can try the combination that um, calls out to you. So you can do jasmine and then myrrh, jasmine and lemon, jasmine and geranium. That's up to you, but I have a list of oils here that you can combine with jasmine. And then again, you can rub it on your throat and um, your sternum and you can rub it on your wrists and then just inhale. Okay, um, so the list here is myrrh, lemon, geranium, bergamot, basil, lime, cypress and wild orange. Okay, so jasmine can combine with any of these oils and rub it on your, your throat and your, um, to help with your voice too. Right, and voice means that you feel like you're heard. So some of us um, have some false beliefs that nobody hears us, nobody wants to listen to you. Um, and if you do have that concern, you can rub the oils there. So before I do a class, I rub um, rose oil on my throat area. And then I, my intention is to speak with love and to influence people's hearts. And I feel like it, it's very powerful because it's a very high vibrating oil. Okay, so it uplifts everybody. It's one of the tricks. Okie dokie, anybody want to add anything or say anything? Have questions? No, nope, that's all right. All good. All righty. So let's go to the mind. I realize that, you know, Jasmine hasn't been accessible to a lot of people up oh, until now. Yeah. Um, but as you said before, you know, the only way you can get it is if you win that contest of enrolling a lot of people. And so not a lot of people had access to it until just recently. That's so exciting. Now people can buy it as, a, as the touch blend. Mm -hmm. They still can't buy it in the uh, pure form. No. For the touch blend. And so that's that's good enough. As you said, yeah. it's, it's still very, it's strong. very strong. That's a very strong smell. So yeah, The five mil jasmine we had, People we are still getting have used it. to it, I think. Yeah, we have, I had several bottles and I still have it because it lasts so long and you only need a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so jasmine is the oil of sexual purity and balance. So according to the emotions and essential oil book, the negative emotion that jasmine can help shift is unresolved sexual trauma, sexual repression, or sexual fixation. So it's like two extremes. Um, and then the positive emotions and energy that it helps us adopt is healthy sexuality, pure intentions, innocent, healing, acceptance, intimate, trust, and safe. Okay. So uh, for me, Jasmine is very uplifting to the mind and the heart. It energizes and warms the soul and opens people up. To joy so you can see that the shape of the flower is open that way okay it's of course it starts with a bud but then the flowers wide open it's not even like a rose it kind of house it layers and layers of encasing and em enveloping but with jasmine it's hello <laughs> it's wide open so um, that's exactly what it does for our hearts it just opens it wide open and it helps us um, get rid of the fear of vulnerability. Um, you know, sometimes we, we hide and, and hope people don't see who we really are, but we're really humans. People see this, that anyways. Um, but here it just releases the fear of vulnerability. Then you connect with people. And um, there are those who suffer from depression. Um, and sometimes that depression is because of unconscious restraints or repression. We, um, feel like guilty having fun. We feel bad if we have joy or pleasure um, for some reason. We're trained and conditioned to, um, to be valuable and important when we work hard, when we sacrifice, when we're, we're martyrs. And mothers out there, I've 
you've seen tons and tons of people just like that. Um, I used to be like that too. I'm thinking I'm working hard, I, I sacrifice because moms are supposed to be like that, right? And that's the association. Um, you know, we're supposed to hurt and pine for our kids and then we're not going to be happy until they're happy. Um, so with this, it helps you be happy because how are you going to be a great example of happiness and you want kids to be happy when you're not happy? Okay, so this helps us open our minds and hearts and release that um, unnecessary restraint um, and repression. Okay, uh, so we don't have to suppress our true desires and, um, and allow ourselves to be more self-aware and self-loving. Okay, so I like this oil because it helps us do that. Okay, so here's um, a little pick-me-up blend. Um, so if you diffuse jasmine by itself early in the morning and then later on you can add frankincense, you can add geranium to that during the day, middle of the day, to, to just add to, layer it on. Because jasmine can last a long time, it's very thick and it can just stay because um, it's a base note. Um, so that's a fantastic blend just to help you be happier. If you have a tendency to be down and unhappy and not perky, it, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? And anytime you can be happy, you're healing. You're younger, uh, you, um, you know, your health is better and everything's good. Your life, you attract good stuff in your life, okay? More success. Okay, and of course, when you're doing any of these um, oils, for even the, phys the emotional side, drink a lot of water because you, you're shifting things out and um, cleaning yourself out. Okay, and the oils, um, the water helps um, you know, carry the oils throughout your body too. Okay, mood uplifting. All right, just uh, a little goes a long way. You can just inhale it or add it to the other oils. Um, you get to a point where you're, it's a habit. It's a habit of, you know, when you're down, you recognize it right away and you think, I don't have to be this down. And then you reach for your oils. Um, and I find it funny sometimes when people have a whole bunch of oils at home. And even a couple of days ago, I was at a fair and the lady, she says, oh, you have oils, you know, um, my leg hurts or I feel down. And I said, oh, do you use oil? She's like, yeah, I have a ton at home. And I said, do you use it every day? And they're like, no. And I think it's not like medicine where you wait until something happens. You use it daily and then it becomes a habit. And so when you are down, and it's not often that you're down, but if you're down, then it's a ha habit to reach for an oil and fix it and help yourself get um, up so you don't have to stay down. Okay. Um, so that's what we can do. It helps boost the mood. It's amazing. With a lot of research that I, I um, read, they've done like hundreds and hundreds of people in a research and they had them smell the jasmine and other oils similar to that and it changes. It helps the chemicals in the brains produce um, all those happy chemicals. Okay. Um, there's this blend here. It says increase self-worth. Um, so you can mix rose and jasmine together and rub it over your heart and then inhale. And then you say, I love being me. Um, it's, it's a healing process, but it can be done. And a lot of us can heal from this because um, we want to be humble. And we, you know, sometimes we think, oh, if I say bad things about myself, that's humble. That's not humble. Um, humility is just about being human and uh, being okay to be human. Um, and that means, um, you know, whatever we are, just love yourself. Um, so um, Rose and Jasmine helps you um, develop that, okay? And when you love yourself more, more people will love you and want to hang out with you. And, um, you know, that's, that's what we want. All right, so here's a blend that's great. Summon Courage. Three drops of Jasmine. Um, so three drops of Siberian fur. Uh, and two drops of ylang ylang, three drops of frankincense. Um, and you mix it all up in a glass bottle and then you can add it to your wrists, uh, your lower back and uh, to the back of your neck. Um, so sometimes we have a challenge that we, we sh know we should do, but we, we hold ourselves back and then we self-sabotage and we think, no, 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 not this time. I'm going to push through. Um, so this is the oil for you, just for courage. I have all that it takes to complete my work. So if you set your mind to something, 
just do it, okay? And if you feel nervous and scared about this task, you know, rub this blend on and then push through, okay? You're not gonna keep repeating because you're scared of success, scared of, you know, messing up or whatever, okay? So that's a Summon Courage blend, okay? Um, anybody wanna say anything? Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna move on here. Um, the Hello. next blend here. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Peaches. Peaches. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> I just, I came on, you know, came in at that long ago, but I'm like in shock. I don't, I didn't realize that Jasmine did all this. I don't know if the uh, emotional book. Or the, the other book I know is updated. I had gotten that one, but I haven't gotten over to the Jasmine yet or, you know, had a chance to use it. But from what I'm learning from you guys, I'm t that's it's, it's amazing. I did not <laughs> know because I'm thinking of people now that I, uh, you was talking about the uh, pregnancy thing. And uh, I, I'm probably, I, think, I know, I know somebody that probably could use that. And I wasn't aware. I, I'm just like, I'm in awe. I'm like, wow, I didn't know Jasmine can do so many things besides smell good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad I caught like, you know, the, at least the, you know, the last half of what this is, because this is, it's amazing. Yeah. It's really, it's really amazing. Do you, it's have it? do you have it at home, Peaches? No, I don't, I haven't, no, I haven't obtained that yet, but I'm about to order. <laughs> order it awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah i was out of town last week i was in uh, south carolina for a couple of days and stuff for some family visit and whatnot so i uh what should you call it i um didn't really know too much about it or heard other people talk about it and stuff but this is why i like your classes because i i do learn a lot and how the oils affect you and stuff like that i'm telling you this is awesome Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think so. The, the best way to get Jasmine, um, you know, where, when it came out with the convention kit, mm -hmm. um, and it was uh -huh. everybody that could get the convention kit for a while there. Yes. So, um, but it's still available. You can still go on there and, and pick it up. Jasmine and Rose. Um, Rose is also, I think, one that you'll you'll really love. Yeah. Yeah. Did we do the? Her. Did you guys do the? I'm trying to remember. Did, you guys did Rose, didn't you? We haven't. Not yet. Um, it's on the December 19th. Mm -hmm. so oh, okay. okay. Next no, week, you know, and then Rose. Okay, you guys, I think, touched on the kit one one of the classes. You touched on mm -hmm. everything yeah, that was in it. Sure so Rose is on December 19th? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's going right. to be a great one, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. boy. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait because I hear a lot of good things about. Her. But Jasmine, I love you know I love the scent, but I have to uh, what you call I have to experience though. Tara's Jasmine. Oh, I, yeah. I know I have to Tara's Jasmine mm -hmm. for real. Yeah. It's so pure. It's so different, and I love watching people's expression. So one of my friends, because I spilled that jasmine, so I've been put it in a container and then we're like, oh, what do we do? So we kind of made lots of roller bottles and I thought, oh, I'm going to give it to this friend. I'm going to give this to this friend. And so when I gave it to her, she was like, oh my gosh. And the smile was huge. She's like, this is amazing. So, wow. um, so good. Yeah. It just makes you uh, get the uh, affirmations uh, here, you know, and how it helps us to be, more into you know intuitive towards ourselves our own feelings and who we really are you know and like you, you made some kind of comment i might be paraphrasing it like sometimes we're afraid to be who we are you know because we think maybe people won't accept it or you know we don't accept ourselves but i, I really like that <laughs> Yeah, I think it's because we don't accept ourselves and then we just have this big neon sign on our head and then people don't accept you because you don't accept yourself. And then you wonder why mm -hmm. people reject you and you think, oh, all those people are mean. <laughs> but you're the one that was mean first. <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. So it's so important because I know a lot of people that have had um, sexual abuse and they continue to feel that victim mentality so many years afterwards. Um, and it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to let that person 
was the uh, you know event kill your life you know yeah uh, yeah the know, trust like 15 or whatever and you were you were silly and and um you were in the wrong place at the wrong time but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yep and i've seen people just um you know had a horrible life because they they decided that's that's who they are and that's the victim and um 60 wow. years of, of that and uh, yeah yeah a lot of women can use that <laughs> a lot of oh, women yeah. can use for sure yeah uh, mm -hmm. i tested a few men too when they divorce yeah um you know yeah. they feel that rejection like their wife never had sex with them or whatever it is and just that rejection uh -huh. no good um rejected um you know to be able to have um you know, another marriage or another relationship, it's just so hard for them and they're so bitter because women are so mean or whatever. Um, this helps them get over that and, um, and heal and then be, be new again. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I've given this to some friends and I'm like, yeah, I wear it every day. You, you're fine, you're gonna heal and you can use that as a strength to help other women and other yeah, men. Now with, now with the touch, the, the jasmine touch, it's, it's the roll on. So where, like, if you are to use it, say, every day, where would you recommend you place it? Like, at the back of the neck, along the spine, the feet, the, the wrists? Yeah. Like where would you? You can do it on the wrist as a perfume. Do it on the, your neck, in the back of your mm -hmm. neck, too. Um, on your ears. I, I would just use it, depending on what you want, but just get it in your, up your nose, in your head. So smell it. Oh. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah, wow. it's a very important oil actually, um, you know, for that deep, deep, deep distress and trauma. Yeah. I could, I, <laughs> I believe I could use that. I can benefit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Um, so here is another thing. Sometimes we, um, we need to see things in a different way. Um, so it warms, you, warms people up and helps people find joy. So you know people that have had a hard life. They've decided that their life is hard and um, they've labelled it as hard. And then um, they're kind of stern and, um, you know, not very fun. And, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm like that too. Uh, so here's something just to help you, you know, relax and let your hair down and just you know, have fun. Uh, fractionated coconut oil, three drops of jasmine. And because we have a touch, you can just roll it on. And then one drop of ylang ylang, one drop of wild orange, blend it together. And again, apply it to your chest, your sternum, and then just upward motion to your chin. Just uh, let it all out. Um, you know, and, and allow yourself to, to be happy, okay? So that's a warming and finding joy. And the affirmation that goes with this is, I can move on in life and feel better and better each day. Okay, so you don't have to do it today, but you can move on. Um, so that's the warm up and find joy, okay? Uh, relieve feeling burdened and humorless. Um, again, people say, well, that's my responsibility. All this work, all these things on my shoulders. I carry my kids. I carry my dog, cat, and whatever. Um, and it, they just feel that responsibility because they think that that's important. And if they let go, everything will fall apart. Um, and then that was hard for me to to because I, I grew up feeling responsible for everyone and everything. And then kids on top of that, that was made it even worse. And um, you can use this blend here, jasmine with coconut oil and lemon. And you can do that just um, in, mix it in a separate container and then rub it on the, um, the behind the ears, around your core, on your tummy, because it goes into your digestive system. You've got your, um, um, your third chakra, your second chakra there just to help you um, let go of um, the basic um, needs and, and then, uh, you know, find that humor and that happiness again, feeling less burdened. And then you can use this affirmation and say, I allow God and angels to help me carry my responsibilities. I allow myself to have joy. You don't, you don't have to run fast, then you have strength really in reality. So um, don't expect yourself to, and because God's not going to expect you to. So, um, you know, we don't know more than God. So it's best just to accept. Okay. 
Um, so that's the blend to help you have more joy and uh, relieve your burdens. Okay, so here's another thing to mend a broken heart. Okay, so one drop of jasmine, one drop of rose, okay, in a container, and um, you can mix it up and apply it over your heart. Apply, apply it to your heart reflex point, so that's on your left hand, left feet, uh, on your wrist to smell it, um, and then the back of your neck, and just keep inhaling and smelling it um, three to four times a day to help you get over it. And it could be just um, a teenage love, um, depression crush, or you know, um, adult disappointments, or even losing pets, okay? Um, so sometimes we, we grieve and we grieve for a long time. We, we allow ourselves to suffer and, and stay down because it shows us that we really, really loved. Um, but it doesn't have to be that bad. Um, it, so this one helps uh, open our heart up to gratitude and um, we, we heal properly, okay? We mourn properly and then we become more, more aware um, of the possibilities and um, the successes. So if you've got a, a loved one that's passed on, they wouldn't like you to be mourning for them for, you know, years and years and years. Um, they want you to find that happiness and think of them in a happy, positive way and, and move on, right? So um, here's some affirmations for you. I am open to a change um, um, and my feelings and perceptions. I have to change that sentence, it sounds funny. Um, I am allowing and am accepting of my gifts and talents. I am a co-creator of good ideas and good feelings. Okay, so it lets you, you know, uplift um, your soul and change. Alrighty, and the last thing here is for postpartum blues. Uh, a lot of people, um, have newborn babies lately. I've seen some awesome cute little baby pictures posted online. Um, if you can give this blend to your friends, this is going to be very helpful because it's an adjustment, whether it's their first baby or their sixth baby. Okay, um, so fractionated coconut oil, jasmine, two drops, rose, two drops, frankincense, two drops. You can mix it in a container. You can keep, um, you know, if you can multiply it and make it a a roller bottle that'd be good too and they can apply it on their wrists and um, smell it uh, three to four times a day um, and of course increase the water intake and then um, their affirmation is I am patient and happy with this process and change because it's 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 a change it's a stage um, but sometimes we want you know the kids the baby to sleep and we want to get back to our normal shape again we want all these things now instead of uh, being okay with them, um, you know, the moment, okay? And the last one is uh, trusting our intuition. Um, we've got a few blends for that, but this is one of them. Jasmine and Ylang Ylang in your diffuser. And that just kind of helps you honor your heart. And so when your heart says go, you just go, or do, and you just do, instead of overthinking. Um, so that's important that we are connected to our hearts. So anyone want to add anything or say anything about Jasmine and any of these um, uses? I think we talked about, you know, in the, in the early last week and how that was, it was sexual healing and Jasmine we had a conversation about a synonym and, and uh, we're going to talk about Rose. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> we get to put all that together and have a, you know, Topic of, topic yeah. I think a lot of people need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's coming at it at <clears throat> several different angles too. Yeah. Wow, I'm excited about that, guys. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, and I know wait. some of the um, people, the communities. Um, sometimes it's just generational, <clears throat> uh, you know. So it's great to heal yeah. that. You know, I know my friend. Um, uh, Eleanor here, she's all about healing the Maori people, and so, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so spiritual, spiritual healing. Jasmine invites us to release the distorted perceptions of self. 
of sex and of joy. It's funny, but we do sometimes have this distorted perception. We think it's, you know, awful or something. Um, and, you know, even though some of us might not have had that trauma, but we have um, been conditioned in some ways too. Um, and, uh, you know, I know I've had to learn and heal and change. So spiritually, it helps us balance joys and trials. Okay. So if sometimes we like had lots of trials. We think that's who we are. That's all we are. And we're a serious kind of personality. Um, and we're not allowed to have joy. Okay? If joy, then you're idle, you know, you're you know, lazy. Um, so it helps us balance that. Okay. Uh, Jasmine invites us to have more self-awareness and invites us to have more self-respect. Okay. Self-awareness means I'm a child of God. I have potential. I can heal you know, things like that. Um, you know, Christ died for me, so now I can heal kind of thing. Um, it helps us release sexual traumas through the sexual experience or like the false beliefs of our social upbringing. Um, it release fears and resistance and uh, balances obsessions. So people can be on the other extreme. I had a, a therapist tell me that sometimes if they're being sexually abused as, as a child, they can really hate sex or they can be really obsessed about it um, so this kind of helps everyone kind of bring them back to balance uh, so um, if people have been thinking about what doTERRA is doing with the sex trafficking um, you know I'm sure that part of the healing that they do for these children that um, come back um, is to give them some sort of therapy with these oils to um, and the last little bit I want to share is that uh, Jasmine helps us feel spiritually pure and clean and wholesome. Okay. Um, and, you know, we have trials, but uh, those trials, um, uh, you know, we can't let that stop us from progressing and finding our happiness. Like I said earlier, sometimes people say, oh, this happened to me and um, that's who I am now for the rest of my life instead of saying well this is probably part of the journey um, and one lady she held on to that pain so much she had this phobia and then her daughter ended up um, going through the same trial yeah mm. and you know another lady she's like I just never let my kids play outside and she's just so phobic about things like that and you think all oh, men are um, predators and you know, sexual crazy animals and things and you know, and then boys grow up thinking that they've got no control and um, that they, they're animals or whatever. And then they, some of them live up to that or some of them feel like oh, they're no good. Um, so, you know, we just have to clean up all our, our um, distortions and really see us humans for who we really are. Okay, and um, I like the fact that the oils go into our brains and help clean out some of the toxins and uh, debris and then help make connections again. Helps the cells to make connections physically. Um, amazing. What else does that, you know? So, well, that's all I have to say about Jasmine. <laughs> um, anyone else want to add to this or have an aha and ideas? Oh, good. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, so thank you for the listeners on our podcast mm -hmm. and the people watching our YouTube videos. Make sure you subscribe. That's so we'll good. stop our recording here and we'll have a conversation afterwards. <laughs> thank you, everybody. We'll go ahead and stop the recording now.